Quest 2 rolls out another update, V39. So let's go ahead and see what they're up to. As I'm excited for this update, they're just rolling them out <laughs> continuously. So let's go ahead and get it. Quest V39 update brings multitasking out of experimental mode. So if you know in the experimental features, these are things that just were air link and with multitasking and with sitting down mode. And just, there's just so many frame rate essentials. So experimental, just always check out those features for sure, especially if you're not familiar with all the updates rolling out. It's, they always has some cool stuff that you can check out uh sometimes they just are a bit laggy but it's more of a beta test aspect but it's a public beta test similar to the public test channel so always check out experimental features all the way through quest v39 update is, uh, is going to start rolling out to owners sporadically throughout the weeks but it's a pretty small update this time around so let's see what they got the latest update to the platform brings the share to headset feature to ios originally only available on android which is huge and please Listen to me right now. Let's get side quests on iOS. Please, man, getting side quests on iOS would be incredible. Um, this feature lets you share content from your Oculus app over to your headset. Meta is also graduating Quest's multitasking features, including navigating multiple 2D windows from experimental features over to officially enabled one. Nice, nice, nice. I think this is going to be far more favoring for the professionals that are utilizing these and just bringing us more of a PC outlook uh, in VR. Um, also, th that means that these options are now available as standard, though there's no dramatic change in how they actually work. So, so far, still the same. Finally, there's a new mountain study environment for home. It's typically um, a scene with sweeping vistas and more. Take a look below. Oh, and the icon for the Oculus browser has changed too. Wow, that, that, that's going to be cool. I'm pretty sure it changed to the meta. If you've seen like the startup also, you see how the meta logo is going now. And that's about it. As we said, a much smaller update than what we're used to a Quest. But there are things on the way with the Social Horizon Homes feature, which will let friends hang out in their home spaces still on the way. We do wonder, however, if future updates might see the app ditch the Oculus branding now that the Quest hardware itself has swapped out the old logos for Meta. So... As always, you can always expect the updates rolling out to be fairly gradual. They're always sporadically throughout the weeks. Now, I want to I want to touch base on this real quick. It talks about uh, still on the way. So we wonder the future updates might switch the app. So let's look at the overall branding. I've gone in our previous videos. We talked about the overall branding of Oculus going into meta. But there's still a lot of things that they have to do. Uh, we don't know what they're going to call Oculus casting anymore. You don't know what meta's uh, fear, uh, near future plans are, whether it's uh, the metaverse in totality or just how they're really handling the Meta Quest 2 and the Quest series and the Project Cambria. We don't know just how they are going as a whole, right? Because Meta is Facebook at the end of the day. So Meta might just have this huge umbrella takeover where they're just kind of easier branding, slapping on logos on everything. But there is still Oculus casting. And um, I, I believe there's still a couple, a couple other things where you have to do where Oculus, um, I know Instagram has just been recent and changing. I know their Twitter has been recent and changing. The logo has now been changing when you start up your VR headset. And um, it just depends on how you are. And of course, a lot of people are not really liking that update. Uh, but for these in V39, very, very small versus what we are used to. Just a quick uh, iOS switch over with the share feature and then also just this home theme. And I think that's going to be a great step forward. If you saw me share earlier, you saw me share the, the local motion of the jumping around in V38. I think that's still a huge update. If you haven't seen that, make sure you all catch that. It talks about me. It uh, talks about the PC VR essential coming over to a standalone, which can lead to much more. Also, there's been phasmophobia updates, so that can help us out too and getting that PC VR feel. They have really made it far more, I guess, affordable and being able to be less laggy. And so hopefully they can get Phasmophobia over to a standalone gameplay. I will keep you all updated on that. And then also Erling has been updated a lot. We do have a video on that too. So just there's always so much news that we do share as this one was a much smaller update. And just giving some insights on this, a new home. You got the iOS share feature, which I hope this can possibly lead to SideQuest pretty soon coming to iOS because SideQuest is on Android. And if you get SideQuest on iOS, it's going to be huge for a lot of people. I get that question all the time because, you know, we always want those other games that are on SideQuest that are very popular. And uh, and that's it. That's it. Check out your experimental features. See what's going on. Let me know if you got the V39 update yet. Let me know if you see the meta logo starting up. Let me know what you think about the new branding. And just let me know what you think about everything in general with Quest 2, Project Cambria, looking to take over more uh, in virtual reality at far at its peak right now, man. Let me know what y'all think. Leave some comments in the comment section below. I'm always happy to just vibe out with y'all, man. Peace.